Hello, Nintendo Chit Chatters. I'm Eddie Ray for NintendoChitChat.com. Welcome to Episode 7 of our preview for Fallen Legion Rise to Glory, coming to the Nintendo Switch in North America on May 29th. Shoutouts to NIS America for providing me a copy of the game. Last episode, we finished up Blazing Fangs in the Serpentine Woods, so stay tuned today, guys. Lots of fun ahead. <laughs> All right, we changed a couple gemstones out. We've changed the death blow out for one of the exemplars as well, and we're heading back to the woods here. We had a pretty cool and epic kind of boss battle uh, in the woods the last episode against a dragon. We got a B rank here. Um, again, you can go back to these levels and work on better ranks, which is really cool. So we have an S rank for there, a bunch of A ranks, a B scattered about here so far in the game. So we're still learning. And uh, we're heading back to the Serpentine Woods today, so let's see what's happening here. We're going to get... Let's see here. Um... Let's set up our exemplars in this formation. All right. And you can actually choose their death blow, it looks like. There we go. Okay, cool. I like that. Okay, you can choose the death blow right here on the screen if they have more than one option. That's cool. Awesome. Okay. We're set. I do like the little option there to do that. Makes it easier. That way you don't have to set it up um, in the other menu. You can, but uh, you can also do it right here before the battle. So I love this because we can do these episodes, which are pretty uh, easy to consume, about 10 minutes or so in length. Give or take a few minutes per, per episode here. Grimoire. Ah, oh, the rich. Earthy scent of the forest. The poet may exalt the beauty of the mountaintop, or flowers strewn field, but it is in the forest that nature's true glory resides. You did not bring me here just to expound on the beauty of nature, I hope. Sadly, no. Although you would do well to top, or to stop and sniff, the whatever passes for a rose here. It's your business, though. We are here for a soul. Yeah, so we have to feed Grimoire the book, um, Souls. <laughs> do you know much about souls? I know that whatever you want me to do with them is not what should be done with them. It's so dramatic. Not everyone can eat food, you know. Some of us require more ethereal sustenance. As with your meats and grains, one needs different sorts of souls if one hopes to have a healthy diet. Maurice chimes in. How can you say such things? Her father is scarcely in the ground, and already you... I'm so sorry. I thought we went over this. Yes, in fact, I distinctly remember the conversation. I do too, actually. <laughs> we agreed upon this. To go along with it, so we have to. So they have to have human souls, right? Now, at the moment, the soul I require is one heavy with regret. A feeling you, Maurice, know all too well, I'm sure. But unfortunately, it is not your soul that we are here to collect. Some other innocent that you have will have me murder uh, while you hold the Empire hostage, then. Why, nothing of the sort. He's already quite dead. You're just picking it up. And what do you need me for? Well, the man is dead, but there are a lot of things in the forest that are not, and that would like us to be. It wants to be dead. Like this next evil monster or whatever. Ah, oh, Devon, here's his name. Enemy of the Empire. Let's rock and roll here. Let's see if we can get our defense up here, guys. Magister Jeanette, I need you to contact General Aurelius, Captain Odasser, and Centurion Placidus. Former Legatus Landor is to be considered an enemy of the Feminine Empire. I have been called away in urgent business, but will meet him in the capital. The Legatus should be taken alive, if possible, but no Imperial tears will be shed if he is not. Understood? Yes, Octavia, but if I might, you might not. I value your counsel, but it has been considered and my decision made. Once the generals have received their orders, Meet me outside the camp. 
at the clearing we visited last night. Yes, Octavia. Maurice? Yes, Octavia? Please be careful. As you wish. Well, thanks, Maurice. Please be careful. We have a book who wants to eat souls. Nice! Oh, that was cool. More death below. That's slow there. Almost in their defense. We had one soldier go down. getting a little bit tougher. <laughs> Missed our defense there again. I need to get better at blocking here. I'm watching their attacks. Oh, the arrow, the archers are tough. My timing is way off with those guys. Receive reliable intelligence about a large attack Gracia is planning on Gaston. Let's see here. We'll go with A. Killing Blow by Longius uh, restores mana. Longinus. Some weird names in here. Shadow Friend was just evicted from her home in Pardoak. Um, some defense payoff. These choices are so cool. Oh, another tree guy. Look at this. Second tree we've fought so far. Tree enemy. Not used to their attacks. These little guys here. They can be a little bit um, pain in the butt here. Especially the one in the back. Throwing stuff towards us. Missed it. Took him out. Whew. 
Interesting level here. Jeez, wow. That magic is happening against us is really tough to look at and take on. I'm like, what is going on? Ugh. Oh, jeez. How do we defend against that? Ooh. Well, we kind of did it there. Wow. Ah, uh, missed is it. Defense here, guys, is suffering. <laughs> we need some practice bad. There we go. Wow. Defense not as bad as it was last time. We got a C instead of a D. But we're getting more and more enemies and stronger enemies, too. We got a brilliant amethyst again. I think this is our second one of that. New tribute extra damage to mythics. Pretty cool. All right. So we're heading to Parduk next episode. That should be pretty fun. All right, guys. Don't forget, this game release is on May 29th in North America. Get your pre-orders in now. I'm Eddie Ray for NintendoChitChat.com. We'll see you guys right back here next time.